Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create a custom block plugin by using uh, your custom module. So let's see how to create it, okay? So for that first, what you have to do, you have to go to your uh, Drupal folder structure. Here are uh, under modules, there will be two folder, one is called contrib and one is a custom. Contrib contain all the Drupal.org module and under custom, you have to create a new folder. So uh, let's create folder here. So I'm going to create a folder as D4 Drupal block. Okay, it's block. And inside that we do we need to create a file called info file. So dot info dot oml file. So in this file, what you have to do? You have to Mention the name of the uh, module. So it's Drupal blog, okay? Default Drupal blog and uh, description. It's a simple blog for Default Drupal, okay? And the next one is uh, type. So we need to mention what type of folder it is. I'm going to mention this as module. So when you create info file in theme, you have to mention this as theme. And next one is core version requirements. And I'm going to uh, use this module only for the core version of above 8.8 8 or, or above 9. Okay, so next one is dependencies. Since we are using dependency, uh, sorry, since we are going to create a block here, so we need to mention a dependency of four block modules. So we need to mention the dependent dependencies. Oh, Drupal colon block. Okay, so that's it about the info file. Once you've created an info file, you have to create a folder src under src you need to create a folder called plugin so we are going to create a block plugin so you need to create it under the block plugin folder and inside that you need to create a block folder okay so under block folder you need to create a block file so i am going to create a block file as so uh, the full Drupal block, okay. Dot PHP it should be BHP, okay. After that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create PHP. I just open the PHP tag and next in namespace of which is under Drupal. In Drupal, the module is D4 Drupal underscore block slash it's under the plugin right so we need to mention the plugin inside the plugin we need to mention the block okay so after that what you need to do use we need to uh, add the dependency for this uh, file so it's a dependency injection it is drupal slash code slash block slash block base so our plugin file is going to extend this class so we need to mention it after that we need to uh, create an annotation to create a custom plugin block so provides what it provides provides simple block for d4 drupal so next is um, we need to mention the class of the block so with add symbol, this is called annotation. So block, 
open and so here you need to mention id equal to you need to mention give some unique id for each blocks so here i'm going to give to call the same module name i'm going to give here and for this admin label we need to provide the admin label so it should be admin underscore label so this is a default control for block okay so when you use multilingual you can uh, add a translation here so here we need to mention the comma and then so this is how we need to mention the annotation, okay? So our Drupal will parse this data and make it available in the block layout page, okay? Next one is class. So we need to define a class as Drupal, Drupal. Class name should be the file name of the block, okay? Extends, this is the extends of block class, which is from block base, sorry which is from the core. And here we are going to create a very simple block. So we are going to use only one function here. And that function is uh, render, sorry, build. So let's do that function here. So the function is build function, okay? So here you need, no need to mention uh, docu documentation for this particular function. If you have, you can. Else you can uh, represent inherit doc so this represents the documentation of this particular class we can take or we can uh, get it from the parent so next one is public public function and build open close and okay open close and then open so here you need to return some text so I'm going to return only one markup. I'm not going to do anything much here. So it should be return, open array, and hash of markup pass. Welcome to, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Okay. So that's it about this. So here, as I already mentioned, if you have a multilingual website, you have to mention like translation. Translation of this. If you mention like this here, the default Drupal uh, block data will be translated and it will be available on your uh, current translation of your website, okay, in your layout page. So I'm not using multilingual, so I'm just going to print it as like how it is. So that's it, we created a block file. Next, what we have to do is that we have to enable this module in our website, okay? So let's move to our website. So next, go to the extent page. So once you move to the extent page, you have to type D4 to call. So our module came here. So let's enable this and install. So now uh, the default Drupal module is installed now successfully. So next, what we have to do, we have to move to the block layout. So here, uh, let's see the demonstration of the block regions. So um, I think uh, we will make it available in the hero field, okay? Let's, let's assign the block in the hero field, okay? So the block is for Drupal. So this is the block which we created currently by using the custom plugin, right? So let's place it. So here, I'm not going to do any restriction in this visibility fill set. So going to save it. So now we, uh, we successfully created a block under the block layout. So let's go to your website and reload it. 
So now you can see there is a text called Welcome to D4 Drupal channel and which we created by using the blog plugin. Okay. And that's it about today's session. And I hope everyone likes it. I'm Saranya. I'm Drupal trainer and tech lead from Braille Labs. So you can find my information here. And if you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.